Today we're going to talk about something really annoying, the menopausal belly fat. We're going to talk about why it happens and how to beat it. Okay, hang with me here. So belly fat in menopause is not subtle, right? One day your jeans fit, hmm. and the next, well, the waistband feels like it's got a grudge, right? That's even more maddening is you didn't suddenly just eat more or move less and your waistline basically thickens, right? This isn't a sign of some type of failure or weakness just because you ate your no birthday cake at your son's birthday party. This is literally what I describe as biology and transition. So menopause doesn't just close the chapter on reproductive hormones. It revises the entire operating manual of your metabolism. So unless you know what's happening, it feels like the rules have changed overnight. So let's talk about what's actually occurring beneath the surface. So estrogen isn't only about periods and hot flashes. For decades, it has quietly managed fat storage, favoring you know your hips and thighs, which is that safer storage area. But then when estrogen declines, there are two major changes that occur. The fat storage migrates, right? An enzyme called lipoprotein lipase, or LPL for short, which helps shuttle kind of fat into cells. It shifts its activity. So after menopause, it tends to favor the abdominal region. And it's not the only factor, but it helps explain why fat seems to kind of march upward from the thighs to the waist. Two is insulin sensitivity weakens. So estrogen normally helps cells respond smoothly to insulin. And without it, blood sugar regulation falters and more of the excess ends up in the belly fat cells. <clears throat> and so what's the result with all this? Even without overall weight gain, body composition changes, right? So your hips and thighs might slim a little bit or stay the same, but your waistlines expand. And studies show women can accumulate up to 20% more visceral fat, 20% in the first two years after menopause, even if your scale doesn't move. Oh my goodness. So why does your belly fat at this stage kind of feel different? Well, because not all fat is equal. That soft padding under the skin, right under here, that's your subcutaneous fat. <clears throat> and it mostly just sits there quietly. Menopausal belly fat, however, is largely what we describe as visceral fat. That's the buried deep around the organs like the liver and the intestines. Visceral fat doesn't just sit there. It acts like a hormone factory. It releases inflammatory chemicals or um, yeah, inflammatory chemicals interfering with insulin, right? And then it feeds into this vicious cycle. So higher blood sugar, higher insulin, and more fat storage. And that's why menopausal belly fat isn't just cosmetic, right? It raises the risk of diabetes, heart disease, and even your cognitive decline. But there is absolutely hope. Visceral fat is also the most responsive to lifestyle changes, and it tends to shrink first when you change the conditions that created it. So now let's talk about some kind of what I describe as hormonal crossfire. Because when estrogen kind of steps back, there's some other hormones that begin to dominate. One is cortisol, that's your stress hormone. So without estrogen, estrogen's moderating effect, cortisol more strongly drives fat toward the belly. And midlife stress, right, you have career demands, maybe you're caregiving, aging parents, it feels like fuel on the fire. Then we have insulin, right? With reduced sensitivity, insulin has a harder time getting that glucose into the muscle cells. So instead it channels more into belly fat storage. Also, let's talk about growth hormone and testosterone. Both of these decline with age and accelerating muscle loss. And less muscle means less metabolic burn and more calories available to be stored as fat. So in short, all your checks and balances have disappeared and the hormonal boredom kind of tilts towards storage over burning. But we also want to dive a little bit deeper into your cells because inside your cells, there are things called mitochondria and mitochondria are responsible for turning food into energy. So estrogen normally boosts their efficiency and their antioxidant defenses. Without it, mitochondria can become less flexible, burning less fuel, less cleanly and leaking more free radicals. And the exact mechanisms are still kind of being studied, but their trend is pretty clear. Metabolism becomes less adaptable. It makes belly fat harder to mobilize, but not impossible. Think of it as a factory running on older machinery. With the right inputs and upkeep, production can still you know, be pretty smooth. So again, I know it might feel like the deck is stacked against you, but here's where science really delivers surprisingly good news. Visceral fat shrinks faster than subcutaneous fat when conditions change. 
So we're going to talk about four different things here. Meal timing matters. Uh, matters. There we go. Meal timing matters. So eating early in the evening improves insulin sensitivity and reduces overnight fat storage. Strength training is a non-negotiable. It's absolutely essential. Even two short sessions per week preserve and build muscle, which acts like a sponge for glucose. Stress regulation changes fat distribution. So daily practices that calm the nervous system, breathing, walking, mindfulness, they lower cholesterol's belly fattening effect. Next, sleep is metabolic medicine, guys. Consistent bedtimes and dark environments signal mitochondria to repair and restore. So notice what's missing here. Crash diets, endless cardio, or sheer willpower, right? The solution isn't punishment, it's habit architecture small repeatable actions that align with your new biology so i want to take some time also to just kind of reframe the struggle because for years belly fat was dismissed as a vanity issue only in the 1990s did researchers discover it was an endocrine organ in disguise sending out those hormonal signals throughout the body that reframed the science right belly fat is not just about how you look in clothes it's a powerful marker of health risk it's also worth noting not everyone and not every woman gains belly fat right after menopause you have genetics ethnicity and lifestyle shape how dramatic that changes and in some cases, menopausal hormone therapy can also influence fat distribution and metabolic health. And though it's not a belly fat cure-all for sure. The larger point here is basically your biology has shifted, but it remains flexible. Signals can be redirected. So where do you go from here? You know now why belly fat changes at menopause, the hormonal shifts, the mitochondrial slowdown, the stress insulin loop that makes the waistline the new storage hub. And that knowledge alone reframes your struggle, right? It's not a personal failing. It's just a biological shift. And that means it can be addressed with biology aligned habits. So the next question is practical. What do you actually do step by step to turn this science into results? Well, I created a plan for you. That's where the 12 week belly fat reset comes in, right? It basically distills everything here into a clear week by week plan, which labs to track and how to interpret them the specific nutrition, movement, and stress habits that shrink visceral fat, micro steps that build into powerful autonomic routines, automatic, automatic routines, oh my heavens, space to reflect and adjust as your body responds. And again, it's designed so you don't just know the science, you actually get to live it. Because while menopause may rewrite the rules, it isn't, hasn't ended the game. With right habits, you are still one healing habit away. So how do you access the 12 week belly fat reset right now? All you have to do is click the link below, join Substack and it's yours for free. And I can't wait to hear how it works for you. So thanks for listening. I'm Dr. Lori Marvis. Now, if you've ever taken a multivitamin, you've probably assumed it's giving you everything that you need. But the truth is most women's multivitamins are filled with nutrients that you're already getting from your food while skipping the ones your body really needs to thrive. And that's where the For Her Essential System comes in. I co-created the For Her Essential System with Complement, a science-backed supplement system that provides the essential nutrients women need for optimal health. It's designed to support hormonal balance, energy, bone health, and much more with just the nutrients we struggle to get without the unnecessary fillers. What sets the For Her Essential System apart is that it is specifically formulated for women with dosages based on the latest research, ensuring you get what you need. So you can thrive in everything you do, all day, every day. Now to learn more and try it for yourself, visit the link in the description below and use the code for an exclusive discount. Take control of your health with the nutrients that matter most.